Welcome to MacroCode. If you are new to this channel, consider subscribing. So in today's video, we are going to learn about a clean architecture in ASP.NET Core. So we are going to create a simple project and demonstrate a clean architecture with a .NET 8. So to begin with, I'm going to create a project. So I'm going to create a blank project. So I'm going to create a blank solution. So you can actually search here blank blank solution so this is it so then i'm going to create so i'll call this a clean architecture demo then i'll create my project so i'll create my project and let's see how it is so you can see this project it doesn't have anything so as I had already said, we are going to create a simple project in SP.NET Core demonstrating a clean architecture. So in the context of SP.NET Core, the clean architecture is actually implemented by organizing the application code into multiple layers. So some of these layers include the domain layer, application layer, infrastructure layer, and the presentation layer. So the domain layer this is like the backbone of the clean architecture and all the projects defined in other layers should depend on uh, this layer. So this layer is highly, highly obstructed and it contains domain entities, events, value objects, and even the aggregates. So for the application layer, the application layer uh, contains the business rules and use cases uh, are actually in this layer. So mostly it defines interfaces that are implemented by the outer layers. So this layer contains business services, uh, view models, mappers, and even the validators. So we also have the infrastructure layer. So this layer contains the implementation of the interfaces defined in the application layer. So this layer is actually responsible for implementing the technical aspect of the system, such as the data access, a logging, and even the security. So we also have a final uh, layer, which is the presentation layer. So this layer is actually responsible for presenting some user interfaces and even handling uh, user interactions with the system. So it includes now the views, controllers, and other web components. So I'm going to create now uh, a project. So I'm going to add a new project. So for this project, I want us to add a class library. Then on this class library, I want us to define these. So we'll call these uh, clean architecture so let's call it clean architecture demo then dot domain so clean architecture de demo then call it a uh, dot domain so click next so we are we are actually using a dot net 8 so then we, are, we create our project so when you create the project let me just zoom so you'll see that we now have one one project so I'm going to delete this uh, layer class. So I want us also to create another, I want us to create another project for the domain. So as we had already said, we have the domain layer. We also have the application layer. So we are going to create another project. So I'll call this application. Then create. So there's something I want us to do. Instead of having these uh, on this uh, section, or you can actually leave it as it is. So I'll, I also want us to have uh, another project. So let's create another project. Then we call it uh, infrastructure. So we'll call it plan demo, then call it infrastructure. So infrastructure, next. So we're using .NET 8. So I'm going to delete the class, these files. Also delete this one. So now we have three projects. We have the application, domain, and even the infrastructure. So the next one that I want us to do is now the presentation. So I want us to create another project. Now for this one, I want us to create a sp.net core web app. 
So remember the presentation layer, this is the layer representing the user interface and handling user interactions. So this is where we'll have the views, controllers, and even the web components. So what I want us to do with this one, I'll, I'll create sp.net web MVC. Then I'm going to create call this clean architecture demo, then I'll call this presentation. So this will be our entry point for the for our application. So I'm going to use uh, individual accounts. Then uh, we are using .NET 8. Then you are going to create this project. So now you can see how our project is structured. We have the application layer, clean architecture. Uh, we have the domain infrastructure presentation and the application. So one thing that I want us to do is uh, on this layer that you have just done, one thing that I want us to do on this project, on our domain layer, so this is where we'll be having uh, our entities. So for example, I'll call, I have a folder called entities. So inside this folder, I'll, I can create a folder, a class for, can create a class for students. So let's say, <coughs> or employees. So let's say employee. So I'll have my employee class here. So I can just do here public. And I can actually have these as a public. Then I can do that. So I can also do first name. So I can also do string, first name. Then I can also do string middle name. So let's just do that for now. So what I also want us to do in our project, that is for the for the application layer, I want us to add some new gets. So on our application layer, we can add some new gets, and some of these uh, include the uh, fluent validations. So that is where we will we'll be having some of the nuggets. So on our application layer, we said this is where we have the interfaces, uh, validators, uh, domain entities, that is the mappers. Eh? And we also have the application exceptions, uh, uh, interfaces, uh, abstractions. So for the application layer, I can actually add uh, fluent validations. So I'm going to add Fluent Validation, and on this Fluent Validation, I'll choose the one with a dependency injection. So this one, so Fluent Validation with dependency injection extensions. So if I just add this, so I'll just click and then apply, then accept. So we'll have our dependency, that is our package will, will be installed. So what I also want us to do, I want us to create a dependency injection uh, class within this, uh, within this application layer. So I'll create here a class, then I'll call this, uh, so I'll call this dependency injection. So dependency, dependency injection, or I can call this application application dependency injection so then i'll i'll just do here public then static then on this on this class i want us to have uh, uh, i service collection so i'll just do static then i service collection collection then I'll say here, add application. Then here I'll say the, this is the service collection, then services. Then what I'll do here, I'll just open this. Let me just minimize this so that you're able to see. Then inside here, I'll say services dot add so i'll add uh sorry so here i'll add 
So here I will add uh, validation. So I'll add a validation from validators from assembly. Then what I can do is uh, here I'll do this. Then I'll say here, I'll have a variable here I call this uh, val assembly. Then I'll call this uh, type of, then dependency injection. So dependency injection. So this should be dependency injection. Then dot assembly. So that is it. So this one, I'm going to use, uh, let me just move this. So I want us to, I think that's fine. So yeah, I want us to use, uh, so I'll say, val assembly is equals to type of, then dependency, dependency injection, then I have this ball assembly here. Then I'll say, then here I'll, I'll have these as a, so I'll return here, I'll return services. So, so I've defined that. So the next thing that I want us to do also is on our, so for the, for the, domain for the application layer. So one thing I, that you'll notice is uh, for the domain application layer, we need to actually include dependency and reference to our domain. So I'll just include that here. So the application layer will actually depend on our domain. So the next thing is I also want us to have, uh, I want us to copy this class and have it on our infrastructure. But now I want us to rename it. So you can say this is uh, infrastructure, infrastructure dependency injection. So we rename that. Then here should be infrastructure. So here should be our namespace, should be infrastructure. So that is it. Then we don't need here fluent validations. So what we need here is to have, uh, so in this class, we'll just install the, we'll, we'll just install the dependency injection package. Then I want us to just remove the validation and we have that. So then here we'll say add infrastructure. Infrastructure. Then I, I'll also want us to copy this. So, so I'll also want us to copy this. Uh, come to our, our presentation. So instead of copying, just come to our presentation. So I want us to include everything on this other end on our presentation layer. So I want us to just come to our dependencies, then add project. Then I want us to include the application and even the infrastructure. So if you do that, then you'll see that on our project, we also have these item project references included. You can see it here. So how you can see, you can actually right click, then edit project file. It will take you to this uh, file. Then you'll be able to see those uh, projects that are included there. So for the infrastructure, so we can actually include uh, our application layer. So let me just add this reference. Then you can include the application layer here. So then that is it. So once you have done with that, what I want us to do is come to our program.cs uh, file on our presentation layer. Then I want us to do some things. So on this uh, section, 
I want us to add uh, I want us to add our projects so that we actually include it on our presentation layer. So to do that, I want us to come to our program.cs. Then here we do builder.services. Then we say dot add application application. So if we do this, this cannot be seen. So what we need to do, we need to actually have our using here. So we'll say using clean architecture demo dot. Then we have our application layers. So I want us to have all of our options here. So we'll have the application, we have the infrastructure. So we'll have the infrastructure, we have the, it's only the application and the infrastructure. So you can actually do with those two. Then here, I want us to now have add application. So if we do that, we'll be able to see this. So we can also include add presentation, add, uh, so add infrastructure. So we can add infrastructure. So after we've added infrastructure, we can also have, uh, can also have that. Then we can also think that is it. So we can have these two. So what I want us to do now is, uh, so you'll see our project, the, 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 the folders that we have, we have the do application, domain, infrastructure, and we have our, our application here. So we'll have all the options that we, so we have the, all the layers. So what I want us to do is, uh, so if we, if we right click on the presentation, so I want us to set this as the startup a project. So you right click, then set it as a startup project. So if we just launch our project, so we'll be able to see this project and some of these uh, folders. So this is just a simple, simple structure when you want to follow the clean architecture in a speed.net core applications. So, so that is it. And in case you have, uh, so you can actually, uh, some of you guys may might want to have this in a folder kind of uh, structure. So you can see you have the clean architecture demo presentation. You can actually link this to our application, login, register a user, confirm, uh, confirm a user details, and even link this to our database. So to link to the database, you can actually come to app settings and configure the uh, connection. So this is just a simple way to demonstrate a clean architecture. And as we had said, we have uh, the domain infrastructure application layer and even the presentation layer. So we'll actually do a presentation on uh, why do we need this and how we can uh, we can actually do a deeper uh, a deeper presentation of these kind of uh, application structure. So that is it for today, and see you in our next video. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and uh, like the video. Bye. Thank you.